What up, y'all? Had a surprisingly good workout today, and the reason why I say that is because I was supposed to meet up with my crew at 7, but um, I set my alarm, but I forgot to hit save. I was so tired to set it, and then I went to sleep. And I woke up this morning with dogs barking, and I look at my phone, and it said 7.20. I was like, oh, shit, I was supposed to wake up at 6, and I forgot to hit save. So I was kind of discombobulated, and I was still, like, really tired and groggy. And uh, so when I went to the gym, everything felt really heavy. And uh, you'll even see I hit three plates, beltless, and there's, there's usually a warm up, and it came out really slow. When I came back up, I looked at my training partner, the demon, and I was like, what the fuck? Did you see that? That was fucking slow. I'm like, fuck, dude. Today I'm supposed to hit 335, 555. I, I was like, man, I'm, I'm not gonna make it. So I was like, fuck, I gotta get my mind right. I gotta get my mind right. Slap the belt on, slap the wrist wraps on, and I was like, you know what? I, I, I gotta fucking do this. I gotta hit 1500. And then uh, my next set, immediately it was way better, and I hit my first set of three plates and a 10 on each side, and then, which I thought was 335, and I smoked all five, and I was like, what the fuck, fuck yeah. And I realized how important it is to have a great psychology going into a lift. And then to my pleasant motherfucking surprise, I completely forgot that I was using the Texas squat bar. Nice. So I didn't hit 335, I hit 345. So I hit 345 for four sets, and I was feeling really good about myself. So I was like, you know what? Even though today's program only cost me 335, I feel really good. I'm gonna just throw on 10 more pounds on each side. So I finished my fifth set with 365 for five. And then I felt really good. No grinders, no stripper booty good mornings. Form was on point, and I was really happy with that. After that, I'm working on my quad strength, because the reason why I do have a stripper booty is because my quads are fucking weak little bitches, so I'm working on those. And then I moved on to some strongman type conditioning. I think it's really important to do conditioning that is conducive to your actual athletic endeavor. And for mine, it's powerlifting. I want to get strong. So any type of cardio or conditioning that I do, it needs to help get me stronger. I can't be going there freaking uh, jogging for like 45 minutes straight. So I did farmer's walk and I did sled pull because strong men in the name, strong, they're fucking strong. And a lot of motherfucking strong men they cross over to powerlifting and they fucking smash it too. So it's always good to learn from disciplines that are better than you are at if their discipline is already on lock. And uh, Strongman got conditioning on motherfucking lock. So I had a pretty good workout. Even though I came in late, I didn't think I was gonna finish my entire workout in about an hour and a half, but I was able to. And now I have to get on with the rest of my day. Peace. And then this guy bangs on the door out loud, says, he says, are you peeing? Cause you've been in there for 15 minutes.